Stephen A., with all due respect, this is not about pointing the finger. Stop. We are not here, Stephen A., to further blame women. That is not why we are here. First of all, let me be very clear. I don't appreciate where you're going with that. I'm not blaming anybody but Ime Udoka. He deserves, the fact of the matter is I've said he deserved to be fired if they were going to fire him. If you're not going to fire him, then don't fire him. My issue is all of this being publicized. The point that I'm trying to make is just you like you're not mentioning. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I listen to you. You're the one telling me to stop on my show. It ain't happening. Okay. I didn't come out with the report about a consensual relationship. I didn't come out with the report ahead of time leaking that we were they were going to suspend him for the year. They did that. That is the issue that I have. Nobody's trying to protect Ime Udoka, and certainly nobody is trying to protect, uh, is, to, is to excoriate the women involved or anything like that. I'm talking about how things of this matter are usually handled from an HR perspective, from an organizational perspective. That is not consistent with what we have seen throughout the years. That is the only point that I was trying to make. Appreciate that clarification. <laughs> So yeah, first things first, I don't like Stephen A. Smith. I think he's overly dramatic, unnecessarily loud, and overly critical of black athletes. I see him as a muppet for people who don't like them. Because he says the things they can't say for fear of being called a racist. But I respect his accomplishments. He's a longtime NBA insider. He has relationships with coaches, executives, owners, agents, and players throughout the league. Nine times out of ten, when he's making a statement, it's going to be true. I don't particularly care for his analysis, but when he's talking about what happens off the court, you can take his information to the bank. He's always dead on. And he was right on this one. He was right to check Malika Andrews for being disrespectful. And as for Malika Andrews, she reminds me a lot of that Tiffany Cross video. That in MSNBC hostess who took it upon herself to lecture black men for voting Republican listening to Kevin Samuels and Tariq Nasheed. I'll post the link to that video in the comments section. But this is another example of the low-boiling contempt that Kevin Samuels often talked about. How black feminists are quick to confront, attack, and lecture black men. They think they can speak to older black men as if they are their peers. They think they can speak to black men who are their peers as if they are their children. They simply don't have any respect for black men in general. And you never see them doing this with white men. It's always black men they think they can talk down to. And you never see 20-something-year-old black men talking down or being disrespectful to a black woman with 30 years experience in his field. But black feminists think they can do it to black men because they're gynocrats. They see themselves as being above us. But getting back to my point, she wasn't supposed to be on the show, but she called in to give her opinion, which is odd because Stephen A debates athletes and other insiders, people with knowledge of the game on and off the court. Andrews is a sideline reporter. People don't listen to sideline reporters. Their job is to read the producer's notes, smile, and look cute at the camera. They generally don't know anything. They're just parrots. Her purpose for calling in was to put Stephen A. in his place, a man who's been working in the field longer than she's been alive. She thought this would be her moment to one-up a veteran in the name of womanhood on his show, and it backfired. And even after looking stupid, she tried to save face. She tried over-talking him, which she couldn't do. And when he clowned her ass with the truth, all she could say is, I stand corrected, which is a prideful concession, not a confession of being wrong. There was no humility in her tone. She was still attempting to maintain her pride, her masculine stance. No, Malika, you were more than just corrected. You were rude and disrespectful. You needed to apologize for your tone and your false accusation. But this is what a lot of feminists do. They hear whatever it is they want to hear, create a false narrative supporting it, then come at you with the facts they invented. Stephen A. didn't blame a woman for this situation. That's something she made up entirely in her head. But she was ready to check him for it. Check him for something that never happened. But even if he did, who the hell is she to check him? He's a 30-year veteran. She's some, some unexperienced goof straight out of college. 
Respect your elders, sweetheart. This is why you don't argue with feminists. Fortunately for Stephen A, it was on his platform so she couldn't bully him. But for the rest of us fellas, the moment you see a feminist doing this stuff, just tell them, okay, okay. Ignore whatever it is they have to say and move on to something else. Don't engage the BS. Let them live in whatever fantasy they've created in their own head. And that's the problem I have with ESPN putting women on the air. Masculine women don't understand the rules of disagreement. Chris Rock said it best. There's always a low level threat of violence when two men interact with each other. There are lines that men won't cross, things they won't say because it'll result in violence. But these feminists have no concept of that, which causes them to be reckless with their mouths. And most importantly, none of the women there have earned their seat at the table. It was just given to them because of gender inclusion, not because they're insightful, experienced, or qualified. And they think that validates their opinion because they're sitting there on ESPN, which causes them to constantly pop off about things they don't know anything about. So if you like this video, please give it a like and leave a comment in the comment section. If you don't like this video, please leave a dislike and leave a comment in the comment section. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you will get alerts every time I upload new content. This is the Layman's Journal. Thanks for stopping by. I'm out.